aside from Alex, you and Vicky are the two most important people to me in the whole world. You're the only family I have left now. Well, if that is the truth and you really care that much about Vicky, then you'll help me protect her. You will? Gabrielle, I don't know what Michael promised you, but he's not going to deliver. You know what's going to happen when this whole thing is over? He's going to say, great, it was fun, honey, but it is all over so long. Unless maybe he's forcing you to do this. That's it, isn't it? And if he's forcing you, the, I know it looks like there's probably no way out, but there is. I've already told you. Look, I can help you. I can, I can talk to Clint. I can talk to Asa. They can take care of Michael for you. I, I'll help you get out of this if you just tell me the truth. I am not in any plot. What do I have to do to convince you? Do you want me to take a lie detector test because I'll do it? Do you want me to swear in, in blood? I'll do that too. Better yet. Here, take this. What are you doing? Go ahead. You couldn't find the picture of the poppy field anywhere in my house, so you think it's in my bag, don't you? Go on, open it up. You'll see you're very wrong about me. What is it that makes you suspicious about Gabrielle? Something Tina said. What was that? That doesn't matter. The point is, I followed my instinct, went back to the mountain, I found her near the spot where I'd rescued Vicky. What was she doing there? Well, she claimed she was looking for the perfect spot for Tina and Court's new home. Well, she could be telling the truth. Well, based on what Tina said, she wasn't. And what on earth was she doing there? Well, I can't say right now. But tell me what else you know about Gabrielle. Uh, not much, really. You know what she did to Max. Yeah, Megan told me. From what I hear, it's not a first. She cut Delilah out of the design business with a similar kind of move. Mm -hmm. So she'll do whatever it takes to get what she wants. And to hell with ethics and morals. You know, I think uh, Gabrielle's deceit is motivated by fear more than anything else. Fear of what? Being broke. Not being able to support her son. Well, that doesn't justify what she's done to all these people, especially Vicky. Dad, do you really believe that she's out to hurt Vicky? Yes. Well, then you have to go to the police. No. Dad, this is Vicky's life we're talking about here. Sarah, the police require evidence which I don't have. If Gabrielle is doing something illegal, the police will find a way to prove it. I'll prove it. And in the meantime, I'll do what I have to do to protect Vicky. You know, Clint is Vicky's husband. Maybe you ought to tell him and let him protect her. You did it, Daisy. Hi. Hi. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Roger. <laughs> Bo, it's nice to see you again. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Okay. Thanks for all the information. Dad, okay. be careful. <laughs> for a good hot meal when and if I ever get that stove fixed. Thanks, I will. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I overheard you telling the gentleman that you're having a problem with your stove. If it's broken, I can fix it. Find anything yet? Full correspondence and copies of deeds and titles. Lantano Mountain. My father bought the land as an investment. February 1947. April 47. July. August. Well, he shelled out a lot of dough. There's a map here and a memo attached to it. He wanted to develop a ski resort and four 50-acre parcels for houses to be built on with a minimum of four acres per house. So yeah, he's got it all uh, colored in here. He leased the, the land for the ski resort to the Lantano Mountain ski people, but he never developed the rest. I wonder why. Why would he have changed his plans midstream? Why would he have given up on such an enormous investment? Maybe the parcels were too expensive. No, I wonder if it was a bad business deal. Could it have been, uh, could he have had another reason for scrapping the whole project? 
Honey, if you're asking me to second guess your father, I can't do it. Well, if I lived to be 200 years old, I wouldn't be able to figure out how that man's mind worked. But he almost never made, made bad business deals. Well, it happens to all of us sooner or later. Nobody's perfect. No, we certainly know that my father wasn't perfect. The thing is, in some papers that I looked at before, there were all these land surveys and engineers' reports and geologist surveys. Obviously, all this was done to determine the feasibility of developing the mountain. Why would he have spent all the money on the surveys and on the land and then not developed it? Beats me, honey. Look, we got to pack up and get out of here. That hockey game starts at 7.30. Sweetheart, the boys both have colds. Well, we'll have to stock up on handkerchiefs. Look, if we, uh, if we cancel out now, they wouldn't speak to us for weeks. Now, come on, be a sport, Mom. You've worked on this long enough. Well, okay, you win. I have to finish some work on the Sunday supplement, though. All right, don't be late, will you? No. Have fun, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't you just go ahead and stab me in the back with a butcher knife? I'm not enjoying this any more than you are. Do you think I enjoy accusing someone who I consider a friend? Tina, I have told you the truth. And if you choose not to believe me, then our friendship is over. Because I can't feel comfortable around anyone who doesn't trust my word, and I certainly can't work with her. So you leave me no choice. I'll have to find someone else to help me redecorate the hotel. Are you trying to threaten me? No. No, but I am promising you that that will happen. And the worst part about this is that I trusted you. With no one else in this whole town, not even your family. They all doubted you, but I was the only one who stood by you. Look, if there's nothing in your purse, I'll, I'll apologize. Good or apologies. The damage will already be done. The mistrust will already be there. And I don't want that. And I certainly don't want my son to have that. He deserves to have friends who trust him without conditions, without reservations. So go ahead. Open the purse. And you'll find out that I have not been lying. And then I want you to get the hell out of my house and out of my life. All right, here. You have my word. You'll have no reason to mistrust me. And if there's anything I can do to help you uncover this conspiracy against Vicky, you know that I'll be more than happy to do so. Al suddenly became very cranky, so I had to put him to bed. I don't think he's feeling well. Oh, no. Does he have a fever? I don't know. I think maybe you should have a look at him. Gina, oh, okay. do you mind letting yourself out? Oh, no, of course not. Do you, do you want me to wait a minute? No. No, I'll call you. Thank you. I'd better see if she needs any help. Bye-bye, CJ. See you again soon, I hope. 